Which candidate for the 2016 election has the best foreign policy? Well, I'm a Democrat. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm a Democrat. I support Secretary Clinton, so I think she has the best foreign policy. What about policy. Bernie Sanders? I think Secretary Clinton has the best policy. I think she was a disaster as uh, Secretary, Secretary of State. State. Every single situation she took over in the world got worse by the time she left. And I can't think of a single situation that she uh, helped with. Uh, the first thing she did was reset the relationship with Russia, with Russia right, to which is an absurdity. Gave up the nuclear defense of the Czech Republic and Poland, which she never should have. Here's what I don't understand about the Obama administration. They give things up and get nothing in return. We give up the uh, nuclear defense of the Czech Republic and Poland. We reset the relationship with Russia. And now we've made Putin a world power that he wasn't bef uh, before. We give things away without getting any, anything back in return. We uh, open up relationships with Cuba. What did we get for it? We didn't even get Joanne Chesimard back, who murdered a uh, New York State, uh, yeah. I'm sorry, a New Jersey State trooper. We have uh, political prisoners there. Uh, this is an administration that doesn't know how to go negotiate. It, it's like selling your house and then forgetting to get paid for it. How do you push back on that, Senator? Because this is basically what... A, a big portion of the people believe right now. Was the policy on Cuba working for the previous 50 years? Were Republican presidents successful in but is it eliminating the problem? Is it working for America? Uh, of course it will work for America. It's the best thing to do because it makes sense after 50 years of a policy that failed. You're saying you want to continue that? So my view is, he asked, what did Secretary Clinton do? She was the architect, the beginning of the program that led to the Iranian nuclear agreement. Now, you may not think that's a good deal, but the fact is that Iran now is not in a position to have a nuclear weapon, will not be, and in my judgment, will never have a nuclear weapon. And if they do change... Why not? How not, do you, how well, do you the get actually, uh, The think, agreement yeah. allows them to have a nuclear, no. a nuclear weapon yeah. after 15 years. No. It actually uh, allows them to have nuclear weapons after it, it, 15 it, years. And, and what no. you said before, Senator, is the reason why it was a bad deal. Now all these countries have taken their sanctions away and we can't put them back, which but, means we have to depend on Iran keeping its word, no, which it will not. It has proven it lies. They lie consistently. They're shooting missiles off as they're trying to, uh, as they're trying to implement this agreement. It, it's almost uh, absurd to think that they're not going to cheat. And, yeah. and, and meanwhile, they're well, also for, murdering people in, uh, in, in Iran in large, large numbers. Yeah. First off, the agreement provides that Iran will not seek a nuclear weapon. So to say that the agreement provides a nuclear weapon for Iran is flatly wrong. Secondly, if Iran does cheat, and that's certainly possible, this is not a case of our trusting them. If they do cheat, the United States is in a very strong position to marshal an international force led by the United States, including military action if necessary, to prevent them from getting a weapon. That would not have been the case had the agreement been rejected and we could not have gone back to the international sanctions that existed before because China, Russia, Britain, France and Germany made absolutely clear they would not consent to continuing sanctions if the United States rejected the treaty. They are part of the treaty. It's a positive step for the United States, it's a positive step for Israel and reduces the likelihood of Iran having a nuclear weapon and thereby reduces their effectiveness aren't, in the region. Aren't they still producing uranium? <laughs> they in are. In Iran? Yes. So then why the, wouldn't that lead we, but, ultimately to another nuclear weapon? We, we reduced their enriched uranium uh, total capacity or, or, or the amount that they hold by 98 percent. They're enriching it but not to a level that is capable of producing nuclear weapons. They are entitled to enrich uranium for peaceful and other purposes as a signatory to the, to the uh, no, nuclear non-proliferation regime. They are not enriching to the level needed to produce nuclear now, weapons. Now why would Iran need the peaceful use of nuclear power? It's an energy rich country. That has always been an absurdity. It's absurd that uh, Secretary Clinton and Secretary Kerry and Barack Obama even entertain the thought of that. If uh, they said that to me, I'd laugh at them and say, what are you kidding? The, you, the peaceful use of nuclear power for Iran, an energy rich country? This is a subterfuge to their becoming mm. a nuclear power. If we don't recognize who and what the Ayatollah is, 
president writing letters to him, begging him for this agreement. This man is a mass murderer. Yeah. This is like making an agreement with Hitler. Is there a uh, difference uh, in terms of the uh, Ayatollah versus uh, kills others millions who of are people. leading the country? Listen, uh, first on nuclear power, the United States is the largest producer of oil and natural gas now, aggregate in the world. We have a nuclear power industry. So his argument simply makes no sense. Many, many countries look to diversify their energy, uh, their energy sources, including nuclear power. Secondly, this is not a case of trusting Iran. They have the most intrusive inspection regime of any country in history. And if they cheat, it will be discovered and we will take action to right. prevent them we from see, getting weapons. We will see the UN's reaction to these uh, most recent missiles. Senator, it's great to have you on the show today. Good Thank you. Thank you so here. much. Right. Senator